Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. Last time we looked in our exercise of developing and planning a spreadsheet the, sit the situation for Joe Citizen who wanted a housing loan uh, using those figures. Uh, there is a link to this video uh, above if you wish to see it. And we saw that when he went to the bank, the bank said, OK, based on that rate term principle, we will lend you the money for that monthly repayment and he was approved based on the formula that we see above and again that formula is explained in the previous video but Joe being a careful man decided that he could only repay $2200 a month and wants to know how much he can borrow based on that new monthly repayment so we'll further develop our spreadsheet and we see in the data tab in the data tools group there is a command called what if analysis and the two commands we'll be using are the goal seek and the scenario manager let's use the goal seek first so the goal seek works like this we're going to set set this cell here to a value of twenty two hundred dollars and we're going to change this cell so by changing this cell we can quickly work out or have Excel work out for us how much the principal will reduce for the lesser monthly repayment at the same rate for the same term so when we click OK Excel says $2200 you can borrow $358,255 if you want to retain those figures in the spreadsheet you would click OK to revert back to the original figures we simply click cancel so that's how we can use goal seek the scenario manager Joe wants to see various scenarios and wants to be able to refer to them later without needing to recalculate every time so in this case we will use the scenario manager and the scenario manager works like this first of all we add a name for the scenario and we'll call it term he wants to go for 20 years and he wants to borrow an amount of we'll say four hundred and ten thousand dollars and to do that we need to change that cell and if I hold down the control key it saves me from typing commas and we're going to change that cell and when I click OK B11 becomes 20 and $410,000 becomes the amount. Let's click add for another scenario because this one, the term, he wants to see what 30 years would be and the uh, principal he wants to see if he can borrow $450,000 the same cells I will retain from the previous and if we click OK we can change that now to 30 and the amount to 450000 and we'll click OK now if I click show for each of those it will show me what the different scenarios are so for that first one 20 years that principal that's his monthly repayment he will not be approved for that because he doesn't match the the uh, lending criteria here let's see how he goes on this one will show the answer is yes because he is now within that criteria and if I use the summary command here I'll be given a new worksheet which will, sh which will show me by putting the result in E11 which is the monthly repayment there we are there so uh, the, the uh, current values are 30, 55, uh, 450 and the original uh, amount 
which we uh, saw first up has now been replaced by these situations here. If I wanted to retain the original amount then I would have used the scenario manager to uh, enter in the original details and I would have seen the original details in there. So that's how I developed the spreadsheet that little bit further uh, by enabling me to see uh, what the repayments, how they were affected by using the Goal Seek and the Scenario Manager. The beauty about the Scenario Manager of course is that we have a permanent record of any changes that might be made so that we can always refer to them without having to recalculate as we would do in the Goal Seek. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the next upload will involve some, some graphs that we'll use but at this stage make sure that you can um, understand the uh, what if analysis and particularly bear in mind that what we're doing is developing our spreadsheet along the way. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and thank you so much for watching. See you next time.